Hi everyone, we've reached the section from simple linear regression to multiple linear regression. In this section we'll discuss a multiple linear regression, a generalization of simple linear regression that regresses a continuous response variable onto multiple features. We'll first analytically solve the values of the parameters that minimize the RSS cost function. We'll then introduce a powerful learning algorithm that can estimate the values of the parameters that minimize a variety of cost functions, called gradient descent. We'll discuss polynomial regression, another special case of multilinear regression, and learn why increasing the model's complexity can increase the risk that it fails to generalize. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with multiple linear regression. In this video, we'll take our pizza predictor one step further and add a second attribute to it. We'll do this using multiple linear regression and predict the pizza price again. Recalling your personal pizza eating experience, you might have some intuitions about other attributes of a pizza that are related to its price. For instance, the price often depends on the number of toppings on the pizza. Let's add the number of toppings to our training data as a secondary explanatory variable. We cannot proceed with a simple linear regression, but we can use a generalization of simple linear regression that can use multiple explanatory variables, called multiple linear regression. Multiple linear regression is given by this model. Whereas simple linear regression uses a single explanatory variable with a single coefficient, multiple linear regression uses a coefficient for each of an arbitrary number of explanatory variables. The model for linear regression can also be written in vector notation, like this. This vector notation is equivalent to this equation for simple linear regression. Y is a column vector of values of the response variables for the training examples. Beta is a column vector of the values of the model's parameters. X, which is sometimes called the design matrix, is an m by n dimensional matrix of the values of the explanatory variables for the training examples. M is the number of training examples, and n is the number of features. Let's update our pizza training data to include the number of toppings. We must also update our test data to include the second explanatory variable as shown here. Our learning algorithm must estimate the values of three parameters, the coefficients for the two features and the intercept term. Just as dividing by an integer is equivalent to multiplying by the inverse of the same integer, we can multiply by the inverse of x. We'll multiply x by its transpose to yield a square matrix that can be inverted. Donated with a superscript t, the transpose of a matrix is formed by turning the rows of the matrix into columns, and vice versa, as seen here. To recap, our model is given by this equation. We know the values of y and x from our training data. We must find the values of beta that minimize the cost function. We can analytically solve for beta with this formula. We can solve for beta using numpy. Enter this code. Here we're importing the numpy.linear algorithm inverse from it. We're creating two variables, x and y. Then we're applying the dot inverse and transpose functions on this. Run this code. You should get this output. NumPy also provides a least squares function that can solve for the values of the parameters more compactly. So this is the code for that. It will give you the same output. You can see that on running it. Now let's update our pizza price predictor program to use the second explanatory variable and compare its performance on the test set to that of the simple linear regression model. This is the script for that. We're importing linear regression from sklearn.linear model. We're then creating the object of linear regression and fitting the model on the data. Then we define the test data and predict the price. Run this. The output is as shown here. It appears that adding the number of toppings as an explanatory variable has improved the performance of our model. Great. We bettered our pizza predictor with multiple linear regression. 